Whiskey Jason here, whiskey from the viewpoint of an American over here in Germany, tasting rare and exotic whiskeys. Today I have a whiskey from Germany, rare and exotic even in Germany, only 864 bottles of this. This is the Ellsburn Cozy Winter 9th Edition Special 2023 release. So we have here casks and they are first fill Malaga, first fill Muscatel Sherry, first fill Mazala, and first fill Sherry. So why does it just say Sherry? Hmm. Oh well. Sherry cast. So this is batch L2192 and we have one of 864 bottles. 53.2% and this is uh, the ninth time that the distillery in Germany called Ellsburn has actually done a special bottling for Kirsch import exclusively and um, we have the whiskey base 241627. The recommended retail price is 79 euros and 90 cents and the prices at the moment are anywhere between 73.90 and 85.90 shows a little bit about the market here in germany uh, most of these stores are online that i'm quoting the prices for what am i going to compare it to i'm going to compare it to a willow burn now before i continue just very briefly we have at the ellsburn distillery which is in ha the Hartz, uh, you're in Hamburg, you have Berlin, and you have Hanover. And you have basically, boom, um, a little bit of a mid-central mountain range. And they have the original Hercenian single malt whiskey. And they used to call themselves Glen Glen Ells, but they decided not to fight the Scotch Whiskey Society, but rather just change their name into Ellsburn. And they're also called the Hammerschmiede, which is a hammer smith. All right, so they have the Ellsburn, which has officially no peat or any um, smoke in here. So then you have actually then the Emperor's Way, which has peated malt in there. Then you have the Alric which is um, very, very strongly smoked with beech wood smoke. And then you have the not somewhere in between. So it's the Ellsburn is without the beech wood. The Adric is with the beech wood. The Emperor's Way is with the peated. And this is something in between. So now um, this is 79 euros. This is 79 euros. This is... Um, 1,100 and is it 92? 52 bottles and it's 46% ABV from Malaga casks, I'm sorry, no, Malaga Muscatel casks aus uh, Malaga, Spain. Good. So the first thing you might be able to recognize is a little bit of a color difference. Um, the first fill here, um, casks used for the cozy winter, is very, very nice. So we do have the Moscatel in here, but we also have the Mazala in here, the Malaga, and the Sherry. So this is a fruit bomb with um, a lot of oak and a little bit of power. So what um, the owner of the distillery tries to do, um, Anna Buchholz, is she tries to actually make this cozy winter be a, a winter whiskey. What would you drink in the winter time? What would you love to drink in the winter time? Now, um, two years ago, I actually tried the 2021, really enjoyed it. Wow, it was great. Did the 2022 in a comparison to the 2021, did not like the 2022 at all. One of the casks, if not more of the cask actually had still some um, um, sulfur in there and it just really turned me off. This year, I'm happy to say sulfur alarm is not given. There is a funkiness in here. There is a lot of fruit. There is a little bit of wood, a lot of wood actually. 
and there's a tiny, tiny little bit of a mineral moment going on here. Almost like, I don't know, like flint. So flint is not sulfur, but it's, ah, it's close enough. Over here, I get a lot of sour. So it's not bitter, it's sour. Um, not a big fan of this. I've had it for the first time in my English video. I was a little bit taken aback by how how little I like this whiskey. I usually like the whiskeys from Ellsburn or from the Hammerschmiede. Uh, they can often be over the top with the amount of cask influence. We often say someplace between 60 and 80 percent of the flavor of the whiskey comes from the cask. Sometimes at this distillery I'd go up to 90 percent. And the casks are so dominant, so wood forward, not gr not grain forward, not distillate forward, but really wood and cask forward, which is not bad. We often now are say we're starting to say, I'm sorry, we're starting to say in Germany, um, just like Canada keeps all the good whiskey for themselves, I think personally Germany's starting to do it as well. Germany has some really, really good whiskeys out there. And they're not being yet sold abroad. Um, they're being, first of all, discussed and enjoyed and discovered within Germany. And um, what we have just done, actually, is we did a mega 18 distillery blind challenge of German distilleries. And so we had six on one night, six on the next night, six on the third night over a period of three months. And we were able to take the winners, first and second place of each of the three um, first round winners and then put them into the finals and it really did materialize fairly quickly almost every single brand that I thought would win would go on to the final did now there are two brands that I kind of hoped that they would continue on one of them was also Ellsburn and they didn't they were pl third place so um, the competition is getting good <laughs> and that's very 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 nice so let's try this Ellsburn here um, the Cozy Winter, the ninth year in a row, 846. I really get the Muscatel. I really get the Sherry. Even the wines of the Malaga and the Mazala are evident. This, this really just wants to put me into a leather armchair, have a roaring fire by my side, um, have a good book to read. And this, this is something I can highly recommend. Cheers. Mm. Mm. There's, mm. Oh, and there's a little bit of a, huh. well, there's a tiny bit of smoked ham, but it's not a little bit, it's a lot. Um, beech wood smoked meats. For me, in my personal taste, that smokiness comes through a little bit too much towards the end. I know other people are going to go, oh, that was just like the icing on the cake. That's so good. I'm going to give this a C++. And if I were one of my friends, I would probably give it a B-. minus. This is wonderful balance. Nothing overpowers. There's transitions. There's enough alcohol with 53.2% that we just love it. Is that cast strength? Ne not necessarily. Just because you have a weird number, 53.2, does not mean that it's cast strength. It has to say in the bottle, it has to say on the box, cast strength, and nowhere is a mention anywhere of this being cast strength. Now, it's, of course, higher alcohol, higher drinking um, a moment, and maybe actually the distillery, what I think hopefully happened, tasted it was like, oh, that's a little bit with 58 point whatever, is a little bit hot. Let's bring it down a little bit. Okay, oh, 53, 52, no, 53.2. Yes, perfect. And they took actually the best, the optimum, the, the wonderful moment of yumminess. And that's what we got. And they got another couple bottles out of it as well. So instead of having 858, maybe now they have 864 bottles because they added a little bit of water and everyone's happier. And most people are still going to look at the 53.2% and go... No way. No, it's still going to go cast strength. Now, this is a no age statement. What is the youngest? What is the oldest whiskey? No mention whatsoever in the bottle or on the box. So, um, but 
let's say it's going to be about five years of age. So it's a five-year-old whiskey, maybe six, maybe four. Um, and yet still, it's just wonderful. And so I'm going to give this a value for money of a solid C. Would I go out and buy a new one for 80 euros? Probably this year, no. But next year, yes. I will buy the special 2024 release. And if that has a little bit of sulfur in there, I'll probably go on buy this by the next, the 2025 release, and see if that, if there's a certain trend. So far, um, I've tried with samples, I've tried at least five of the nine. And of the five, four of the five that I tried were very, very, very nice. And that's why I'm gonna say, hey, I'm gonna go buy this again. I'm gonna try this, I'm gonna try this, I'm gonna try this, I'm gonna share this, and there are people out there. Actually, just the other day, someone wrote, Jason, I wrote on the, the video for the 2022 uh, version of Cozy. When's your video coming for 2023? How good is it? And I can tell you in English, I can tell you in German, very good. <laughs> sehr gut. So, uh, sehr gut would be uh, actually an A, so it's gut. Yeah, it's good. Um, it's actually a C++, almost a B-. minus. Now, this, as I mentioned, there's a sourness. Um, there's a little bit of that beech wood um, smokiness there. What is fantastically interesting is I put in a, a, quite a bit of water. I brought this down like 45%, maybe even 43%. On the nose, it does lose a tiny little bit of the fruitiness, but on the palate, It retains almost all of its creaminess. It retains almost all of its wood fruitiness. The wood comes out a little bit more. The fruitiness goes back a tiny little bit. And the, 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 the beech wood, that smoked ham or smoked meat at the end, actually turns into more like a dark chocolate moment that I very much like. And so I'm not someone who needs to have 55 point or 53.2% alcohol each time on my glass. You can dilute this down and actually have a drink that is fantastic. That's that that is a B minus for me and my and my palate here. Well, well, well done. And then I'm willing to go out and spend seventy some euros for this. So my question of the day: What is your favorite winter whiskey? What do you enjoy the most to drink during the winter months? Now, some of us are living maybe in the southern hemisphere. Some of us maybe live where it's not as cold as it used to be. We've had snow on the ground now for the last week already over here at the end of November, the beginning of December. Um, not unusual, unusual, but it's still a surprise. <laughs> oh, look, <laughs> before Christmas. And then what happens in Germany is we'll have snow in November at the end. And January and um, December and January will rain. 35 degrees Fahrenheit, 3 degrees Celsius. And then in February, we'll get another snowstorm. And that's basically our winters at the moment. At least that's what I feel are this. And so, but we still have colder temperatures and wind and so on. It's just, just not so comfortable outside. But cozy winters is something to snuggle up to beside the fireplace and enjoy. Well done. Thank you very much um, for this whiskey. Um, yeah. What's your winter whiskey? See you soon, Whiskey Jason. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.